This segment of USF Basketball Run with the Bulls is brought to you by AT&T. AT&T is a proud sponsor of USF Athletics. Switch to AT&T Wireless and DirecTV today and stay connected all season long. AT&T, entertainment your way. A winter storm shut down the Memphis campus, but it didn't stop the Bulls. The show must go on as Coach Jose Fernandez's team went in search of their third straight win. He's done a great job in the 18 years and seasons that he's had with putting this roster together. And it's a roster unfazed by road games. Not afraid to get a little physical, they were on their way to a fourth straight win away from the Sun Dome. Let it be known, Maria Jesperson has done her job on both sides of the floor with great size as well. Jesperson was feeling it early and would play well throughout, putting up career-high numbers. Jesperson, sounds like we've been saying her name every trip down the floor, but she's been able to do it all. And how about that feed from Raider? Then Ferreira gets the steal at midcourt. She takes it all the way. The Bulls were showing why they had been ranked every week of the season in the coaches' poll. Yes, for Sid. Somebody has to cover her. But after leading nearly the entire half, they were down at the break. Launches the three. Got it! And that'll do it for the first half, and Memphis has the lead. But there was no panic, not when Jesperson's play picked up right where it left off in the second half. The bucket will count and a three-point opportunity for Jesperson, and Maria is having a tremendous game. All the Bulls were. They used their size to dominate the boards and the paint and ran the floor with flair and athleticism, shooting a remarkable 71% in the second half. They got a three-on-two break. Oh, what a no-look feed from Flores to Locks, and that's why she's one of the best assist players in the country. Jesperson just having her way on the inside, outside. 31 points, 11 of 21 from the field by the count of 81 to 62. They improved to 15 and four. Jesperson had her 20th career double-double. Life on the road isn't so bad, but it's a whole lot better back in the Tampa sunshine as the Bulls hosted Temple. Bulls with 15 wins on the season in their home white. And we're underway here at the Sun Dome. The Bulls had been off for a week, and they looked a little rusty at the start against Temple. Jose Fernandez's team 0 for 6 from the field so far. But it didn't take long for them to get their rhythm, knowing also that they had already beaten the Owls in Philly. Flores for three, and it's the opening run by Temple. Maria Jesperson would have another strong game in all phases, while the Bulls' depth was a factor as well, with many contributors. And Shaw. Got it for two. Henshaw will spark off the bench here for this USF team. And the versatile Bulls got back in the game with some inside drive from Alba Prieto and some outside marksmanship from Jesperson, who continued to work on her conference Player of the Week honors. Jose Fernandez is so big on Raiders. She just gets in the right position to score or get second chance opportunities. Three points for Raider. Flores taking it baseline, pulling the defense, and hitting her teammate wide open in the corner. Plays like that move Flores into second on the Bulls' all-time assist list, and they would erupt for 31 third-quarter points. 11 of Kitty Alox's 13 points came in the third, and they took the game away. To be a good point guard, you need to know when to score, when to set your teammates up. Great nifty behind the butt move to finish at the rim. Loxa, a junior, would move onto the top 10 scoring list in school history with over 1,400 career points. Rebound for Flores, shot clock is off, and that should do it. South Florida improves to 8-1 and one at home, sweeping the season series from Temple, looking to taking their winning ways on a two-game road trip.